how to use chat on ClickUp. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will showcase step by step how to get started using chat with ClickUp. Basically, a lot of people, um, when they actually use ClickUp and they want to communicate with others within their workspace or projects, usually they end up doing it with uh, their, you know, Discord, uh, email most likely, and, you know, other platforms outside of actual ClickUp. Or use the actual comment section, which is quite a little, you know, difficult to navigate because it's by uh, task. However, uh, ClickUp does offer a chat option, which is going to be related to the projects that you have, where you can have a room for chat. And it's just going to work well, like any other chat app, basically. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how to do so uh, right now. So first, you will need to go ahead to the project that you want to add this uh, chat room to so for the time being i only have project one so i'm just going to go ahead and click on that and then from here you can you know just have your tasks and everything i'm just going to because we are going to use them in chat i'm going to also create some tasks here so let's just do uh uh t -t 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 write a script for example so we have this task for the time being. Let's just do one more. Let's just name it uh, water the plants. Just in case we actually need them. And also we can also do with docs. So if you have any docs, they're also going to work well. But now let's actually talk about the actual room chat. So to access it, you will need to go to the view uh, option here on the top where you will, you know, you'll find your list view, board view, team view, and so on. But we want to have the chat view. So click on uh, the plus icon with view. And here you can find all the other views that you can find like uh, docs, uh, tables and so on. Um, I'm just going to add docs. Why not? Okay, so basically what we are actually looking for is going to be chat. It is actually in here. As you can see, it's this one right here. Chat, communicate with your team. So you will need to just basically click on it. And here we have the chat uh, room. If you want to change uh, the name of it, you can feel free to do so. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we can actually do, for example, general chat, actually, instead of, you know, leaving it as it is, like I said. Uh, and if you have more settings here, like pin view, add to favorites, and private view, and so on. I'm just going to leave it as it is, as prep, uh, general chat now. And we have this ready to go. So we can see here we have the views, normal views, and we have the general chat. And here, uh, basically, you can access the general chat option. And you can basically do whatever you, will, you want. You can just simply type normal stuff, like normal text. So normal text. And every everyone, by the way, who is who has access to this uh, project and you gave them access to this view are going to have access to text and basically read through the text. So if you send out a text here, we can see we can actually like this. We can actually add reactions by adding any emojis here. We can actually reply to it. So we can just add a reply. Uh, let's just do that's uh, amazing for some reason. And we can just click on send. And we can see now we have an entire thread going on here. Uh, so we can just collapse it for the time being, but we can just, you know, create more and more like an actual threat. So we can do something more like testing, uh, send, and we can see we have this entire thread. And again, we can just like these comments and so on, but I'm just going to collapse for the time being. And now we have more options here, which is going to be summarize this text or thread, which is going to be using AI, I believe. We have edit, which is going to be only f available for the person who wrote the um, actual comment. Uh, we can assign comment as action item. If we click on that, we can actually go ahead and select uh, either the assignee, which is going to be me, and we have assigned to me. And if it's resolved, then it is basically resolved. But for the time being, I'm just going to remove that. Okay, great. And we can also reply, which is, you know, again, we have it over here. And show more actions, I believe there's nothing else here. Like remind me, which is if it's a reminder, uh, if a 
uh, someone tells you you will need to finish this in a specific amount of time, you can have a remind me and it's just going to send you out notifications. And if you wanted to be notified about re new replies, you can also do so from here. Now, what else can you actually do? You can just go ahead and type slash and you have all of these things that you can actually work with. So you can write with AI, we can create tables, we can create a checklist, we can add buttons, toggle list, bullet list, you can, you name it. There's plenty that you can actually work with. So for example, we can just create heading one. This is a table. And then you would want to hold shift and enter to go down. Let's just remove that. And we can just go ahead and add a table. And we have this table now. If you want to add more columns, you can feel free to do so. If you want to add more rows, you can also do so. And you can add the chat here. So we can just do uh, chat two, seven, whatever it may be that the table is for. Um, and you can just send, and you can see already it's just working properly. So you can have this conversation between other people in this general chat. If you want, you can just go to view. And I believe you can create a new chat room for a specific different element. So we have general chat here. This is going to be for um, uh, b scheduling or something. Who knows? You can just go ahead and create more chat rooms if you want. And one more thing is that if you uh, do shift at, we can also tag people. So for example, I just tag myself because there is no one else in this workspace. I can just go ahead and add tag them and add a message. This way they actually get notified. So when they see this, it's going to be basically a notification. So if you have used something like Discord, uh, it's going to work exactly the same. If you do a double at, it's going to show you tasks. So we can actually go ahead and select one of the tasks that we have created from the beginning. Uh, write a script, for example. Uh, and... Um, we can use this as a reminder and it's going to showcase here. And if somebody clicks on it, it's actually going to redirect them to the actual task, which is a great way to highlight a specific task uh, that you want people to work on. If you would do a triple at, uh, you can also use docs. So we can just use the welcome one, enter, and you can send out a doc. If people click on it, it's going to open it up, which is great. Uh, and then we have also the whiteboards. So if you want to access whiteboards, you can also do so. But I don't really... Okay, I do have one, but I'm not really going to access that right now. But you can basically open them up over there. Um, you can also record screen clip uh, from here to actually record screen and send it out. So for example, allow uh, this time and then entire screen, click on share. And basically you can just record that and you have here the um, recording button that it is actually recording you can do exactly whatever you want so you can go to docs here show them around and everything uh, and we can always just uh, go ahead and stop recording and now we can actually go ahead and send it out so we can just click on enter and it's going to send out this share screen uh, one more tip if you don't actually you have more stuff like record voice clips add file, uh, add emoji, assign comment as action item, and so much more. But if you don't find this record screen clip, uh, I will show you exactly how to get it. You will need to go to top right, settings, uh, click apps, and then you will see this one clip, screen recording, make sure it is turned on. Uh, this way you can actually see it, but you will need to use Chrome or Firefox for it to work. Otherwise, it's not going to work. With that being said, this is pretty much how to access uh, chat rooms or create chat uh, with ClickUp. It's just going to make your life a lot easier with communication between you and your team members. So with that being said, I hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.